guys, I thought I'd show you around our little plot. So this is the front of the house. It's a bit boring, a bit of an ordinary sort of ordinary house. In the front garden, we've got a bit that's got just pretty flowers in the summer. It looks a bit overgrown and a bit weedy at the minute, but it is all pretty flowers in the summer. And on the other side of the front garden, we've got fruit bushes along the side of the road, which, if you look, have got buds coming on them, which is quite early. They must think it's spring. There you go, buds coming on them. And we've got a herb bed, which again looks a bit overgrown and, and grotty, but there's life there. And a rosemary as well, which which has done well so far. I've never had much luck with rosemary, but that one looks quite happy. And round this side is where all the fun stuff happens. We've got dogs. We've got Blade and Woody and Lexi. Isn't she pretty? And an absolute little hooligan in there. Hasn't she just got mischief written all over her face? Just trouble. <laughs> and a pretty girl. We've only got one little person in here. Hello, little one. The other two died, probably of old age. Um, so just this one. We will get her some friends. We'll get her some more friends in the spring. Pretty. In, 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 It's not ideal to keep one ferret on her own, but there's not many ferrets about this time of year. So she's all right. She's down here. We get her out and play with her a few times a day, so she's happy enough. The garden's divided into two. We've got the dog's half and garden half. And here we've got the patio, the workshop, and the chick shed. And through here, that's my sign. We've got the veggie garden. It's all a bit bare at the minute. It is January after all. Got some kale in here. She's quite happy. And some turnips. Which don't look quite as happy. And in the greenhouse we've got some bits that are being overwintered. Some pelargoniums, my dahlia bulbs, bits and pieces, and some garlic and some onions that are just starting to come up. The garlic's a bit further ahead than the onions, but they're getting there. Some cabbages, some more kale, 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 the garden's a little bit bare at the minute, um, but then it is January, so what do you expect? Um, lots of plants, lots and lots of plants. There's this bit up at the top where we had the chickens before that I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with it. Um, possibly more raised beds? Possibly not, who knows. Um, I might be bringing some of the ducks back just to keep the, any weeds down between us and next door. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I'll take you up, up to the allotment now and I'll show you around there because it's been a while since we've been up there and we've, we've done a bit of work there, so see you in a bit.
we're up here. We've got some more posts and some pallet boards. We've done a bit of work up here since the last plot tour and we've made another pen. So there's three pens and the chickens are divided into their breeding groups. We've got the Ixworths, we've got the Wellsomers. I'm not sure what I'm doing with my leg bars. I've done a bit of research and I've been told that they're not good examples of breed. Um, these ones, they don't have enough cream around their neck. The, old, the younger one, you can just see back there, she looks better, but still not a very good example of the breed. So I don't know whether I'm going to keep them just as coloured leg layers, coloured leg, coloured egg layers, or whether I'm going to get rid of them and get some better ones. Um, I'm not sure. But yeah. Oh. One egg. See a nice blue colour. I'll see if my Ixworths have laid me anything. These are my Ixworths, my white ones. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Oh! Two eggs. One's a bit grubby. My, my Ixworths are my, my project breed. They're a rare breed. Um, there's very few people in the UK that keep them. Um, I've had them for about, about eight, nine years now. So I've got about five or six generations. Um, I'm trying to improve them. I'm trying to get them better. They're a dual purpose breed. So they lay eggs, a decent number of eggs, and they set them out to be a, a decent sized meat bird. Um, I'm tempted to maybe try showing some this year. That's this year's project. That's if I can persuade them that they enjoy going in the bath because um, they're all a bit muddy at the minute. Broody coop down here. We've got a couple of Andrews birds. Um, we've got his older cockerel who was squabbling. He wasn't with a couple of the younger guys in a bigger coop, but he was squabbling. So I've had to separate him off. And I've given him the partridge hen as a wife, just so he's not on his own. It's, it's not really a big enough coop for them. It's not really a big enough coop for them, but it's fine for a day or two until we get a, a bigger coop sorted. The chickens that are loose are the ones we're not keeping next year. Well, this year. Um, they're either excess cockles or crossbred hens. Um, They'll be going to the sale. They'll be going to the sale in February. There's a sale at the end of February. So we've got a few well summer cockerels and a few crossbred ones. Look at this. And some of Andrew's cockerels wandering around. Ooh. They're all right wandering around there until. Yeah, and this until is cool. Until we can take them to the sale. What have, you, cool. what have you got there, Andrew? A trolley. And it can turn into a. Um, Whose, whose trolley is it though, Boo? Yours! And who got me the trolley? Daddy! Oh, I thought it was Santa. No! Yeah, I got the trolley for Christmas. I got the trolley for Christmas. Um, and I could turn into it's not a bad Christmas present, actually. A pretty good one. You uh, asked for it. I did ask for it, yeah. And I got one. Um, it's been used a lot this last week. But it does <laughs> wobble a bit. Hauling stuff up here. Um, yeah. Wobbly. I'm over the moon with it. It's really good. Very wobbly though. Yeah, and we've fine. tipped it over <laughs> three times. What, just this afternoon? Two times today and one time the other time, the first time we came uh, up. Didn't we? Yeah. And this is Andrew's new house. Well, not Andrew's house. No, not I. Not Andrew's house. This is not living in there. Andrew's new chicken coop. Not living in there. Come on. 
which we just finished making the other day. So he's got a big house there. Yeah, I'm there. And he's got the little one that we brought up from from. What I used house. to have before we started YouTubing. Right. So who's in there, Boo? Uh, one cockerel on one hen. And um, why is the cockerel in there? Because we had three. Because there's one over there. This one. That is two, or in there with that one, what's a nice cockerel, and they were fighting and this one and that one was full of blood. So we split them up so they yeah. didn't fight anymore. Yes. And we gave them a wife each so they weren't lonely. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. So yeah, this is Andrew's new chicken house. It's a bit rough and ready, but it does the job. Sized house, it's plenty big enough for his birds. Nest box over there, still no eggs in it though. And these are his other four birds. And then last but never least, we have the quackers. Yeah. And some ice in the pond. The ice tiny. in their water bucket. So the ducks are all back together because they didn't like being separated. They're quite happy. Are you going to see if there's any duck eggs? Yeah. I'll go see if there's any duck eggs. No duck eggs, but we did get two eggs off them this morning, so we'll let them off. The plants and bushes up here, I'm going to have a bench just here so we can sit and admire the view. Admire the view going that way, down my raised beds, which will be full of vegetables. Right, so that was our little New Year's Day tour of our plots. Um, still loads of work to do, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you another one in a day or two. See you later, bye.